how devastating is that to, to not have the story told where people can really see and realize the impact that African Americans have made? It's, it's very devastating. I mean, Julius Hobson, who was a civil rights organizer in the 1960s, testified in Congress about how when he went into the Army in the um, 1940s or 50s, you know, he had no sense of self-esteem because he thought that black people in general didn't really do anything other than maybe cook and serve, but that he didn't really have any sense that, that, that black people, African Americans, had contributed anything. But that once he learned that, it, it, it really helped give him some sense of empowerment. And I think with, it's just human nature that if you believe that you've done nothing or you're told that you're, you're, you're made to believe that you've done nothing, then you're going to think that you're nothing. And so um, this history and learning this history and, and really portraying these contributions in their proper light will help um, hopefully uh, raise the self-esteem and raise um, the interest in, in young people to you know, reach for the stars and to be all that they can be and to take advantage of their opportunities. I mean, I was so devastated when the clients that I had as a public defender, you know, they, you know, I'd be representing 15, 16 year old uh, kids who were dropping out of school, and I would say to them, "Do you know that people marched and 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 bled and died and got beaten up?" so that you would have a right to go to you know, a, a decent public school and to have these opportunities. And they would just kind of shrug their shoulders because they weren't aware of it. And I hope that you know, if there could be a museum like this one day, that perhaps some of those young people would realize how important it is to take advantage of these opportunities that they have.